Hello there. Hello, hello. Today is. Even on this microphone, I'm mute. Hello. Uh. 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 Ah. Yeah, let me regulate the gain on this microphone. I'm using the Shure SM58 microphone. Just bought it. And today is like right now it's just a few minutes into it it's it's 12 35 a.m on sun saturday april 4th i was just 35 minutes into into saturday um so yeah, but yeah, let me tell you an anecdote about something that happened recently, all right? So, uh, last Friday, by the way, last Friday, I came from, like, Greenville, Texas. Okay, no, actually, hold on, was it last Friday? Yeah, it was, uh, no, Friday before last Came from Greenville, Texas, right? I was actually driving from Kentucky. But that last day, I drove from, like, Greenville, Texas. I actually started, like, the day before. I started, like, driving on, like, like Thursday. Yeah, but I came from Greenville, Texas. And I was over there, like, I was going to, like, Academy Sports and Outdoors and shit. But I ended up not going there. Cause it's a hassle trying to park the truck over there, but I was just parked there at the Walmart, and so I went to Walmart and basically bought some app twenty two caliber ammo, some boxes, two boxes. It was like like a thousand. It was the thousand fifty five rounds for like. 45 bucks or something like 50 bucks with the taxes but yeah i was there i drove over here all throughout the night she got here in the like early in the morning like three in the morning four two in the morning got here till past but all right so long story short i got here it was real windy, like a lot of wind. I left the windows rolled halfway down in the truck with the truck running and stuff. Because I want like some ventilation, ventilation, but it was real windy and there was a lot of dirt blowing around, dust. So, and it was kind of cold too, so I got kind of sick. Uh, so I'm having like allergies and shit. So, I mean, I was just there, right? And then I still had that, um, I still had that thought of like, you know, I wanted to buy a twenty-two rifle. Mind you, I already have a nine-millimeter handgun, but I still wanted to buy like a twenty-two millimeter rifle because it's like, well, especially, I mean, I don't like to. I mean, don't really like to hunt and stuff, right? No, like, it just seems kind of gruesome, right? killing animals. But when you go out plinking at the range, it's a lot cheaper to shoot like twenty-two caliber than nine millimeter, right? So I was gonna go out there. On the range, and um, I was gonna go out there, and then yeah, I went to like sh I went to fucking Academy Sports and Outdoors here in El Paso, but they were only letting people in like f like five or ten at the like they were only letting in like a few people at a time and shit. So they said like the wait on the queue like at the entrance was like half an hour. So I was just like, man, I don't know, I'm leaving. I was so I just left that place and asked like call like Big Five Sporting Goods. 
I asked them if they had rifles. So, yeah, they did have rifles. Some of them because they've been selling out and shit. So, but it turned out that happened. And then, you know. Yeah, so. You know, like you need social distancing, right? And stuff. So, the. I mean. I went into Big Five Sporting Goods, the one over there on the east side. Yeah, on um, George Dieter. And I asked to buy the rifle and stuff. I filled out my information. And I was like, they, they already have me in the system because I bought, like, you know, the 9mm handgun before. So, but they said that they said the. The system was kind of slow or whatever. It was backed up or something. You know, because of the same thing, coronavirus. And I was also wearing handkerchief. To cover my face and my, you know, nose and mouth. And, yeah, because I was just like, I started feeling sick that day because of that. All the dirt was, like, giving me allergies. And so... Yeah, it was like in the afternoon, like after, I don't know, around like 6 p.m., which they were going to close at, it was like 5.30. They were going to close at 7, I think. So I went in there, and there was this chick that was wearing like a, she was wearing a, a mask too, like covering her mouth and her nose. She's the one that rang me up and shit. I was just there, so I was waiting for my... You know, background check to get approved. And then she said, she just said like, she just said the. Uh, I don't know. It started to. It started kind of looking suspicious and shit. But let me tell you, these chicks like there. There were like two. Well, there were two women in there, right? Some young women. The one who rang me up seemed younger, but there were two women in there, and then one guy. That I saw of the out of the work like the workers in there, and a few customers that went in, including a guy like with a gun in his waist, like uh, it was like some white guy. He looked white, with a gun in his waist. But anyway, yeah, she eventually said the system was like getting backed up, so like the machine froze and it didn't send them info out and shit. So like I didn't actually get a like a a yes or a no, you know, I didn't like get a proceed or not pr proceed or whatever, or denial or delay or anything. Like the info never got sent out of the store into wherever they verify it. Um, so, um, so yeah. Yeah, she just came out. She's like, the machine is like lagging or frozen. That's what she kind of implied. So I was like, man, I don't know. I was like, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I can wait. I mean, can you try it again just to see if it goes through? She's like, oh, she had already, I mean, she had already told me, yeah, you're probably, the machine won't, doesn't want to set us like down or something. It's having problem like trouble sending it. It won't send it. I tried it, and doesn't want to send it. And you should probably come back like tomorrow again tomorrow. <laughs> so. Yeah, she said you should probably come back tomorrow and stuff. I was like, you know, I don't know. Can you try? I was like, can you try one more time? Is it like something you can try one more time to see if it goes through or not? Because, I mean, I want to come back tomorrow, like all the way across the city, drive and shit back to the store. It's like it's like a 25 mile drive each way. 
<laughs> so she said, nah, you're just gonna have to come back tomorrow, sir. I'm sorry, this and that shit. No, she didn't say, I don't think she said sir, because they, they were kind of rude, including that other chick. Like, I was, I was asking her about a question on the questionnaire, and, like, last time I bought a handgun, like, well, it was actually, like, not the guys that told it to me, but I was doing the application, and then, you know, the guy, like, walked me tr through it, right, the application, the questionnaire, but this chick was, like, I don't know, I was kind of unsure, because he's asking questions, like, You'll pro you're probably like you're probably not gonna be sure when you do that stuff. Like the first time or maybe the second time if it's been a long time. So So yeah, I was just gonna like ask her to clarify one of the questions like what do they actually want in here? Like what are they asking for like it's just the question is kind of confusing, but eventually I just like entered it in and shit. And then, yeah, well, I was going to ask her and then she just like blurted out like over me, like talked over me like, oh, we can't help you on the questions. We can't help you on the questions. Like before I was going to even like finish answering the question. You know, she, so she already had a... It seems like she already had a vendetta against me. And this was another chick that didn't help. I didn't, like, deal with as much as the other one. She was, like, some skinny Mexican-looking chick with gla glasses. Like, some skinny Mexican-looking woman with glasses. So I was just there. <laughs> yeah, I ended up buying, like, more ammo and shit. And then I just left, right? Because it looked like they had a few boxes of ammo, like three left there, right? So I was like, are you sure you're going to have that ammo later on? Like tomorrow, if I come back tomorrow, are you sure you're going to have that ammo available? It looks like it's selling fast, so I'm just going to buy more. So I bought another two boxes, little boxes of ammo, 22 ammo. I left the store. I even said thank you twice. The first, the second time, because uh, I said it a second time when, as I was exiting the door because I thought, like, like they didn't respond the first time. So I thought maybe they didn't hear me. So I was just like, all right, thank you anyways. So I exited it and I was parked right next to the, in front of the entrance and shit. I was there, like, I was trying to find some food. All right, so I called my house to see if there was any food available and stuff, or they're gonna make me something. So I was also kind of sleepy because I didn't sleep that well. So I was like, I don't know. I think I slept a little, a few minutes. Yeah, to get, yeah, to get refreshed and shit. Yeah, but I was there like 30, 40 minutes, probably. Like 45 minutes, man. I was just there. And then I finally decided to go home, right? So I took off. You know, I, I'm just like backing up and then getting on the, you know, driving towards the exit of the, of the parking lot. And, shit. and I saw a cop like to the, on, on one of the exits. The exit that's like I exited through where like George Theater is, is, but I saw a cop, a pol I think a police car on the other exit. I think they closed off all the ex. They like I saw, a, I saw a police car on that other exit, and then I exited through like where like George Theater was, and then there was a a police car right there, like on the. Like, there's a little space where the sidewalk gets even with the street stuff. So, they parked there at that. So, I was, like, getting on Jersey to get on the I-10 freeway. So, he was, like, right there, right on the sidewalk and shit. As soon as I passed him, like, he, he got behind me, right? And turned on his, like, emergency lights or whatever. The lights. 
So I just pull like turn into the that gas station parking lot that's right next to like real close to where I was at, real close to that big five store. So I just parked. I stopped there, and then the police officer approached me. It was Officer Soto with El Paso PD. And then some other guy over here on the on the driver's side window, you know, like there's usually like one cop like talking to you on the driver's side and then another one just watching through the passenger side window. <laughs> so um yeah, basically they stopped and frisked me because uh they basically yeah, those uh, Oh yeah, the officer said, "Oh, hello. How's everything going?" Uh I'm like, "Well, it's going like okay, I guess, pretty normal." Um that's how my day is going, but uh, this is not normal anymore, right? Since the police stopped me. But all right, he's like, "All right, well, you know, we just got a we just got a call earlier from the Big 5 Sporting Goods store." That, like, there was a gentleman there buying a firearm, and when he couldn't get the firearm, he got really, really upset. Like, really upset. And then he's like, I don't know, he kept on going on. I was, I was like, no, I wasn't, I'm not upset. Like, <laughs> I'm like, it's happened, I'm like, it's happened before, like, you know, that you get delayed or something. For the firearm, but eventually I bought it, right? I bought that fire, like, the first, like, the handgun that I got. That I got, like, last year. But this time, like, last Friday, I was trying to buy a rifle. So, I bought a rifle. No, I, I did, I tried to buy a rifle, but I didn't get it. But, yeah, they said I was really upset that I couldn't get the rifle because the system was, like, malfunctioning so so um yeah they said that i was there i was getting really upset and then i don't know see just we just kept like doing small talk and shit but i recorded it on my phone uh I'm just giving you a summary of what happened. So, yeah, he just said, um, yeah, and I guess it's a little suspicious that you just, like, sat there inside your car. Like, you were just waiting there and stuff. They thought it was a little suspicious. I was like, it's not a little suspicious to call, like, fucking police on me and shit. So, basically, what I know happened is that, you know, they just basically... Yeah, the, those especially the the girl that I dealt with mostly. She's one of those young Mexican girl like women. She's a young Mexican woman, and uh, yeah, she basically like racially profiled me. She's like, you know, people like him, you know, like him, like with dark skin. They don't usually, like, buy firearms for, like, you know, just, like, shooting at the range and stuff. They're, like, in her mind, we're associated with, like, committing crimes. Just, yeah, she just raci racially profiled me. Like, the presumption, like, she was, uh, I'm, a, I'm presumptively, like, it's a presumption of guilt. Presumptively, presumptively guilty I am. That's what she thinks. Um, so, yeah, I mean, even though I'm sure she's gotten shitted on for, like, being Mexican, right? But she's like, I don't know, she's like, I don't know, she thinks that if she's like, um, uh, I don't know. She since she that she senses that those views that she's like judging me based on like she, those views are more prevalent or they have like more 
influence or strength. Like she just uh, she's just asking, acting like when it happens to her, it's just an accident. But like she's gonna show them how loyal she is to the that. Uh, you know, she's just gonna show people that she's not like that. She's not one of those people that should be judged like that. You know, she's kind of. She looks Mexican. I mean, she doesn't look white, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but. You know, until the time comes when she, if she ever does, like, when she, like. Um, comes to grips with the reality, then. You know, more people are going to, are going to, like, fucking. More people aren't gonna like get hassled by her, right? Like racially profiled and shit, because of it. Like fairy tale she has, silly fairy tale she has in her mind. But yeah, that woman has like the police department on speed dial, basically. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but that's what they said that I was a. I don't know. She, to them, it seemed suspicious that I was sitting there in the car for like. I don't know, a few minutes. I don't know, like, I didn't know you were supposed to just take off. If not, you, like, you're considered suspicious, which is not suspicious if you stay there for, like, 30 minutes or whatever. They don't know what the hell you, you could be doing. There's a lot of people that do that. <laughs> I don't know, she's, like, well, actually, I do know, but I just have a habit of saying that. But I do know that, yeah, she's like, you know, her judgment is just like jumps towards like, you know, she's seeing me. She associates me with something like negative, bad. And then she's going to tell them basically, I guess, the the white people she's gonna tell them or show them how loyal she is to their i like she's on their side right the people that spread those uh um that exclude people and spread like the racism and shit She's going to show them that she's like, she thinks like them. So they should let her in to their side. I don't know. I mean, as far as I know, or actually it's pretty apparent, but yeah. The most limiting fact, I mean, I mean, that's a problem. You know, she's, she's kind of, she's kind of dangerous because she can cause like, you don't know how, how much it could escalate based on some, like, false accusations like she did and she had, right? Because, yeah, like I said, she's got the police department on speed dial. She just calls fucking for no reason, basically. But, yeah. Yeah, as far as I know, I mean... I, like I'm not trying to like tear her down for being a woman, <laughs> but yeah, what she's doing is like what a lot of people do, which is the, like the first uh, instinctive like reaction, which is like to try to blend in with the. You know, if you feel out of place, if you feel like you don't fit in, and she's just going to show them, like, work for it, put effort into, like, showing them work for it. Like, show them how much, like, she's on their side, like, she, she, how loyal she is. Like, she really believes, like, she really thinks, like, the way that those people who, like, shit on her think so they like so they let her blend in and then like nobody will notice that she's different but yeah i mean i don't know that's stupid and she should get off that fairy tale because 
because I know that the most limiting factor in society, like the most limiting factor or like the most limiting uh, condition in society is, you know, the thing that sets you back the most, even though she like, she's setting me back by doing that, pulling that shit. The thing that sets me sets you back the most is being a woman. Uh, women are not allowed into like positions of power. Like, I don't know the only thing you can do, which is like, <laughs> like the best thing they can aspire to basically is like, which is not really a solution. It's like shit. It's still shit, right? But the best thing you can aspire to is like, I don't know, marry a rich guy, like, I don't know, suck his dick so he will, he can, like, support you or something. So you can have the illusion that you actually fit in. But yeah, there's like a double standard, very different standard for women than there is for men. Uh, especially, like, you know, they're. And even the men, like, they get broken up into, like, races or by skin color or whatever. All right, but, yeah, that's what this chick is doing. And I called that good-for-nothing corporate office of the Big Five. And I told them about what happened. And at first, that chick was like, all right, all right, well, we'll look into it as if that means anything. I'm like. You know, I'm expecting, like, a follow-up on this, all right? So, when are you going to call me to follow up on this? And she's like, well, what are you looking to get out of this? Like, I was like, well, I don't know. What is it that matters? Like, basically, the only thing that matters that you care about is, like, some financial compensation. I was going to buy some stuff from there. So, I should at least get a discount on the stuff I was going to buy. She's like, no, firearms are, like, I don't know, there's, like, different restrictions on firearms and this and that. We're, like, I don't know, we buy it from, like, like, like third party. Uh, associates or some shit, like, like, I don't know, she said, like, the firearms came from, like, another business or something. Something like that. I'm, like. So what? But it's like, I don't know. It's like still costs money, you know, or what? She's like, we can send you some coupons and stuff. No, I'm like, but it's like going to be coupons like what everybody else gets, right? So it's just like everybody else gets that don't get racially profiled or whatever. Or that didn't encounter those like brain dead employees of yours at that store. She's like, well, yeah, but. I'm like, yeah, your employee called the police on me. I have it recorded on video. And the police said that they called me, uh, called the police on me. So I need something that will compensate for the, you know, for the bad image that that gives me, like being stopped and frisked. Because I, they told me to get out of the car. And she like put my hands behind my back as if like I was kind of like clapping like, but behind my back. I think that's what he said. I don't know. Yeah, but put your hands behind your back. And then she's like, he frisked me and shit. And I had my hand from, on my phone. So I set it like in front of the car to record and shit. <laughs> so, yeah, but that, I mean, that doesn't look good, right? When you're getting like stopped and frisked by the police. And other people, I guess, you know, other people, if other people that I'm like, associate with that I associate with will see that and shit like they would have a they would hold me in a negative regard after that for like being just because I got first by the police so yeah but she was still trying to like shirk responsibility like around this Shirk responsibility from this what happened so yeah she said the police interrogating me like questioning me stopping me frisking me it didn't have nothing to anything to do with this the store which um that's ridiculous because it was one of her employees that called the police on me um 
So yeah, she just refused. She basically just hung up on me because she said that that was the first time she said like there was no follow up call. And she like she was just look into it. I'm like, you've been this many years in business. Like you, you, you mean to tell me it's the first time it's happened? It's not the first time it's happened. And that's how you just like deflect whenever somebody has a complaint about the bullshit they have to put up with, you know, with the your brain dead employees that you hire. Uh, sure, that's what I told her. But then, yeah, she just hung up on me and shit. Like, hmm. <laughs> and then I called again, and then one of the, like, I don't know, some other woman, like a receptionist or something, they have their headquarters in El Segundo, California, which is like, Real close to LA. So, yeah, I called the, like the next day. I called the next day. And she said, um, yeah, it's going to be, it's over 31 minutes, man. I called the next day. I think I called, yeah, I think it was the next day I called again, and I was like, I'm I'm just going to keep pressing in them on this, because, yeah, this is bullshit, so, I don't know, she said that other receptionist and stuff, she said she was looking into it, whatever that means, you know, that, that just means, like, trying to find something to blame you, like, use something that, I don't know, whatever, to like put the blame on me that's what they always try to do yeah because i mean you can't tell me that racial profiling and like other bullshit that doesn't go on in those stores <laughs> yeah but th that 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 young woman, like she's been traumatized. She's seen all she's seen all her life that you know, basically, like dark skinned people don't like they don't use guns in a like a a legal way and like a good way or healthy like acceptable way. And if they do use them, it, and when they do use them, it's like for a nefarious activity so yeah that's where we're at right now or that's where i'm at yeah but eventually they i don't know she said she was uh yeah they said the second time i called they said they were gonna get back to me and shit i don't know if they were just blowing spoke up my ass but they're gonna call like get back to me and i don't know that they were like looking into it or like uh discussing it or some shit like that I mean, come on. I was going to buy like a, like a, I was going to buy like a, a pretty cheap rifle, let me say. But now since they're, I don't know, since they give me, if they give me a discount. Oh yeah. And then she, I don't know that other chick, the first time it called, she said like, all right, well, if you have a problem, like. Tell your law lawyer to call us. So like, yeah, I don't like. You know, I'm not gonna be able to like pull a lawyer out of my ass, right? You know, those lawyers. Like, I don't know, as if the lawyers were for like work for free. So, yeah, that's how they shield themselves. Like, you know, they don't care about like they just do business and like. Conduct business in a real like fucked up way that's like, I don't know, you know, like tramples, tramples like other people and shit. That's how they conduct business. So, yeah, that's what happened. Um, yeah, but this the second time I called, they said they were like looking into it. They were discussing it or something. And they would get back to me one of these days or something. But I'm like, I don't know. It better be quick, cause I mean, I don't know. It doesn't take that long to discuss this. <laughs> I hope they don't end up uh, 
I don't know, because they reach far, like, they, they pull some shit, like, like, that you might not expect, but they're, real, like, real, they're real shady. That's how they behave, you know, and, I don't know, I mean, they're suspicious of people wanting money, right? They, when people scamming them, but they should know that that goes on in their stores, so. Yeah. I mean, I might just get a call back and they're telling me that I'm like banned from every big five sporting goods store that exists or something. You know, that's how that's how they handle the problem. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they did. They try to bullshit to see if you'll like buy into it or something. If you're like insecure enough to believe them that they try to gaslight you alright All right. so until later alright goodbye let's stop this recording yeah by the way it's like uh, yeah I think I'm gonna do another um yeah I think I was I was also like when I was waiting there in that car, I mean, which is not suspicious, right? Waiting in the car for a few minutes. I mean, I guess if you if you if you're there for like four days or something, right? That might be suspicious. They might tell you like move, right? Because they need like parking for the customers. But just staying there a few minutes is not suspicious. They only think it's suspicious if you got some. Uh, Some Mexican, like, or some Mexican looking person. By the way, I'm Mexican looking, right? If you got another Mexican looking person, let's try to show the white people how loyal they are to them because, you know, like, she still hasn't come to grips with the reality of her situation that. You know, no matter no matter how much she tries to like blend in and shit, like she'll just keep getting singled out and get getting keep getting crapped on. So yeah, I was just um, yeah in the parking lot. I think I, I think I slept for a few minutes just to feel refreshed and shit because uh, you know I was gonna be sleepy on the like driving on the on the way back. Uh, not back up. Uh- on the way towards my house, cause yeah, I had just gotten off of work. Mm. All right, bye. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, post your comments, and post your comments and like the video. All right, bye. Bye. Bye.